Everybody's familiar with the German Shepherd dog. After all, they've been America's second most popular breed for years. But not everybody is quite as well acquainted with the Belgian Malinois. Despite their history as herding dogs and their similar coloring, so many physical and behavioral differences separate the dogs. Finding the right one as a pet or even a working dog can be a task in and of itself, but understanding what you're in for can make a big difference. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for much more. Both the Malinois and German Shepherd are members of the herding group and can trace their origins to livestock herding dogs. As their names imply, the Belgian Malinois was developed in Belgium and the German Shepherd in Germany. The German Shepherd weighs 65 to 90 pounds for males and 50 to 70 pounds for females. The Belgian Malinois, on the other hand, weighs in at 40 to 80 pounds. Both breeds are similar in height between 22 and 26 inches tall. While the Belgian Malinois is more blonde or fawn in their coloring, they have a black mask with black ears. The German Shepherd, however, has much darker coloring throughout its body, mixing the black and dark blonde fur together. Sometimes, this breed has three or more colors in its coat. The bite force for the Malinois is 195 psi. German Shepherd dogs are excellent guard dog breeds with a strong bite force of 238 psi. Malinois are good with other dogs when properly introduced or raised with them. German Shepherds are generally good with other dogs. However, because they are an intelligent working breed, it's not unusual for them to be somewhat aloof when encountering dogs for the first time. Another main difference is their lifespan. While the Belgian Malinois has a longer lifespan of between 12 to 14 years, the German Shepherds, on the other hand, typically live for 10 to 13 years. Malinois are good with children and other animals when properly introduced or raised with them. German Shepherds can be one of the friendliest, most sweet-natured dogs you can have. They can also be excellent family dogs, even in households with young kids and other pets. The Belgian Malinois seems to be the healthier of the two breeds. While German Shepherds have a long life expectancy for a large breed dog, they are prone to several health problems such as degenerative myelopathy and hip and elbow dysplasia, cancers, and diabetes. While the German Shepherd and Belgian Malinois are both incredible breeds, Belgian Malinois are earning a reputation as the better working dog, police dog, and guard dog. Belgian Malinois is not recommended for the first-time dog owner. They are a lot of dog, which means they have a strong work ethic and are active, protective, and powerful. German Shepherds can be a good option for first-time dog owners. However, owning a German Shepherd involves a lot of work. The German Shepherd and the Belgian Malinois are both breeds of dogs with remarkable intelligence. They tend to bond well with their trainers. Although the Belgian tends to do this with just one owner, making them even more fiercely loyal. These are two working dog breeds that dog lovers all over the world can appreciate. Which one is right for you? That's up to you to decide. And that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching.